welcome to Lefty's Craps. I'm Matt. I'm going to show you one of the two new strategies I'm going to um, roll out for the next 30 sessions. This strategy um, I seen on someone's um, page, someone's YouTube channel. They said they got it from Casino Quest. I watched Casino Quest roll out this strategy and they said that Frank was the person that um, submitted the strategy to them. So thank you Frank if you watch my video. I appreciate it. And um, how this um, strategy works is a $600 bankroll. I have my $600 here. So what you do is I can't remember but yeah I think it's gonna be a I think it's a ten dollar pass line I'm not sure if they played the pass line or if they didn't I'm gonna check on that before I make a real video this I'm just showing you at showing you the different things so um, first I do want to go through my chips because somebody was Someone asked me about that. So, just so you know, white is a dollar, red is five dollars, green is twenty-five dollars, black is a hundred, purple is five hundred, orange is a pumpkin one thousand. This is what you want to walk away with at the end of the night. Pumpkins. More than one pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Those are the chips and the amounts. Just so you know. That's the most basic thing. Um, so, I think, I think it was a $10 pass line bet to start. So the puck will be off. You make a $10 pass line. $10 table is going to be the minimum. Like I've said, there will be a little plaque on the table somewhere it'll tell you the minimum of the table the maximum amount of the table and the odds of the table the odds are usually three four five times um, this does not do odds because um, that's a little more advanced betting this strategy is without odds but you could always add odds into it at any time it makes it more volatile the more odds you play, the more volatile the game becomes. The more you can win, but the more you can lose. Okay, so you make a $10 pass line bet. When the puck is off, 7 and 11 win. 2, 3, and 12 lose. Okay, so let's just, you know, say you rolled, and well, I rolled an 8. Okay, so eight would become our point. Now, once you get a point established, what they did was they took $120, which is a weird bet, they say, and I understand why. So they're going to take $120 and they're going to place it in the cum and they're going to tell the dealer, I want $120 on the 5, 4, 9, 10. I want my bets like that. So what it's going to be is a quarter on each, basically. $35 here on the 9, $35 on the 10. Oh, and I forgot. The name of the strategy is two. Two and out, basically. That, um, that, that's what they called it. So, because it's two hits, you're looking for two hits, and then you're out of the hand, basically. You'll be in the hand for a few dollars, but not that much. Under 15 or $20, I would say, you'll be in the hand if you can get the two hits. Okay, so hit one. Now, these quarters will be buy bets. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have the little things to put because 25 will be a buy bet. This is just going to be a place bet. This is going to be a place bet. So, on these bets, 
let's say if you hit a 10, let's say if you hit a 10, let's say we got, now we roll a 10. So, um, 25 pays 50, and then you're going to have to pay a $2 big, so you'll get paid 48 $48. dollars get paid $48 okay if you were to hit the 4 or the 10 on the next roll let's say the next roll was a 10 so we get paid 48 now we're going to go to 160 across so they're just going to take you just tell them 160 across because now you have enough money to go 160 because you have 125 150, 160, you're going to get $8 into your rack because you did hit the better. You hit you hit a 10 instead of hitting a 9 or a 5. So you're going to rack $8. So now you have your 160. I'm going to cash that in and get a quarter. So now you have your 160. So you're going to... Everything's going to get a quarter, and the six or eight, you need to bet in increments of six. So that's why it's 160, because you're going to do 30 and 30. Now, this is still going to be a buy bet. This is still going to be a buy bet, place bet, place bet. The rest are place bets in the center. So 25 pays 35 on the five or the nine. Just so you know, 30 on the 6 or the 8 pays 35, of course. And then the 25s will pay 50, but then you have the $2 VIG still, so they're going to pay 48. So let's just say you get, let's just say you hit, let's just say you hit a 5, okay? You're going to get paid $35 because it pays 7 to 5. So there's 5. So 7 times 5 is 35. Very easy. The 6 or 8 pays the same way, but you have to put 5, five more dollars on it because they have to be in increments of 6 because it pays 7 to 6. So if we would have rolled a 6, that's fine. $35. So now what happens now is all this is going to come down because you got your second hit. Let me show you. All this would come down. And you won. Remember earlier we do have our eight dollars still. So remember that. Okay. So now you've won one, two, three, four, a hundred and seventy-five. 195 $203. Now you put in 120 you got that 120 back, plus $80, $3. But now we're going to go 96 across, which is a little different. But you're only in for $13 now. You hit one good, you hit one of the better numbers, and then you hit one of the lower numbers. But now you're in the hand for $13, and you have some health, you're going to have some healthy bets out there. 15 on the 10, 15 on the 9, 6 or 8, like I said, you have to do an in increments of, of um, 6. So, let me cash this 5 in. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for the, <laughs> to do the, to do that part. But basically, 
now you're, and don't worry about all that, but basically you're in it for 10 on the pass line because you're going to have your, you're going to have your pass line bet and then you spent $13 to put out 96. So, $18 on the six or eight pays $21. Okay, that would pay 21 if you hit one of those two. $15 pays $21 also. Or no, why did I only put out $11? That pays $21. This would pay $21, and the 15 is going to pay 9 to 5, so um, $27. This is going to pay $27, because this is going to be a place bet. Until I get to 20 or 25 I'm not going to do it as a buy bet. It's just going to be a place bet. So that would win $27. Some casinos will let you do a buy bet even at $10, but always buy it. If they'll let you whenever you can, buy it. So once you get here, and I know it's three hits instead of two, like it says, because really two hits and you're out of the hand. I mean, your $25, even with your pass line bet, you're in for $23 total. So once you get to there, then you're you're basically at zero. If you hit another four, you're in profit. If you hit one of these, if you hit a five or a nine or an eight or a six, you're not all the way in profit. You're still down two bucks, but I mean, come on, you got some great bets out here. If it keeps rolling, you could win a lot, a lot of money. After the third hit, after you get three hits, then you can do what you want. If you want to press, if you want to press and collect, that's fine. Um, they, he pressed and collected. They pressed and collected. So, or they power pressed, really. Um, to get to the right numbers, they power press, but it's just like pressing. Let's say if you hit it, you hit a six and you get the paid the 21 the next time, that's fine. Um, let's go all the way up to the next one. Well, let's just go up 18 more. Let's take the 20 and go up $18 more. So they'd return two to you, and then you would be at, sorry, I don't know, 18 and 18 is 36. You'll be at the $36 level then. So, and then let's say the next time after that, you would, you would collect. Let's say you collect one after you get your third hit, you collect one, then you press one. If it keeps going, they were up real high He because he, he was hitting fours and tens and he had these up to uh, 300. He was up to 300 on the four or the ten. I can't remember which one in the Casino Quest video. And because he was getting the purples, he won a purple I think twice. 600. He won 600 two times off, off the ten and the four. But I mean that's really what he was rolling. The most so I mean it's possible you can do it and he had a lot on the table he had a long roll and so this is a long roll strategy you you need to get some hits you do have to get some hits but that's the basics of the strategy so I just wanted to make a short video and show you all the different um, bets we're going to make and stuff like that. And so you know, you can watch the video. If you're a beginner and you don't understand what the bets are and the payouts and everything like that, I just wanted it to be there. 
and what's going to happen during this strategy. So if anybody needs it, it will be there for you. Remember, God is great. Look out for session one. It will be coming very soon. I'm going to try to record my other video I'm going to roll out and both session ones at least today. So remember, God's great. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Lefty out.